guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell as well i do drop new content on this channel every single day so with that being said let's just get into the video it is wednesday march 3rd 2021 and i want to talk about ocugen ticker symbol ocgn currently sitting at 11 dollars 79 at the time of this video up about 22 percent on the day now earlier today this stock was at a high of almost 13 14 dollars and I did let you guys know about OCGN. As you can see here, I made a video on OCGN at $3.17. And in that video, I talked about why they are entering the vaccine market and there's big, big potential for this stock. And here we are today at $11.79. So hopefully you guys did make some gains from that video till now. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research and invest your money at your own risk. But with that being said, let's just get right into it. Ocugen, you guys, if you don't know about them, they're a company and they specialize in rare conditions that cause blindness. But recently, as of COVID-19, they are collaborating with biopharmaceutical company Bahara Biotech, and they are developing a COVID-19 vaccine, and which is the main reason for Ocugen stock to be really popping off. So basically, Ocugen is co-developing a vaccine called Covaxin with Bahara Biotech. Bahara Biotech is an Indian-based vaccine company, and they have developed this vaccine called Covaxin, and it is showing promise in India. And currently, um, you, uh, we're awaiting FDA approval in the United States for this vaccine. And like I've said in previous videos, if that FDA approval does come, we can see this stock absolutely fly. Okay, but some news that came out today regarding this stock is that Ocugen stock soars because Bahara Biotech COVID-19 vaccine candidate shows 81% efficacy. And as you can see here, shares of Ocugen soared 31% in pre-market trading after the biopharmaceutical company said its co-developer, Dabahar Biotech, released an interim analysis of the phase three, phase three trial of its COVID-19 vaccine candidate, Covaxin, which demonstrated 81, eight, efficacy, efficacy of 81%. Bahar's phase three trial in India enrolled 2,600 participants aged 18 to 91, and the first interim analysis is based on 43 cases. A review of the safety database shows severe, serious, and medically attendant adverse events occurred at low levels and balanced between vaccine and placebo groups, right? So there's a vaccine in the United States that actually just got FDA approval called Johnson & Johnson, and that efficacy rate is actually lower than 81%. Now, Moderna and Pfizer, their efficacy rates are around the 90%, so a little bit higher than Ocugen's biotech, I mean, Ocugen and Bahara Biotech's Covaxin. But again, 81% efficacy is showing great, great promise, you guys, and obviously causing this stock to take off today. I still think we might see a bit of a pullback as a lot of people made profits and are pulling. But another great, great sign, you guys, as we move closer to the possible FDA approval with Covaxin in the United States. So basically, once Covaxin is FDA approved, if that does happen, and it gets e EUA approval, the emergency use authorization in the United States, we can see this stock absolutely take off. And I think a lot of people are beginning, obviously, if you haven't already, to take a look at Ocugen because of this. For the given price, we can definitely see this stock five, six, seven times in value if the FDA approval does happen. And obviously, this, stock is com this company is commercialized in the United States. Again, Ocugen will receive 45% of the profits from this vaccine. And Brazil, the country of Brazil, I talked about this in a previous video, the country of Brazil just purchased 20 million doses of Covaxin from Bahara Biotech. So other countries and other geographies are also taking a look at this vaccine and seeing it as a potential winner in the space. Also, the India, the prime minister of India recently got the vaccine showing great um I guess, interest and great support for Bahara Biotech's Covaxin as well. So obviously, this is big news, you guys. Ocugen soars after Bahara, Bahara Biotech's COVID-19 vaccine candidate shows 81% efficacy. Thought I needed to share this with you guys as I've been a long-term holder of Ocugen. Let me know in the comments below if you guys got OCGN, what price you guys got loaded up on. As always, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Drop a comment below, you guys. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about these stocks. As always, have a good day.